there's just something about a burger. Diners can almost always find one on a restaurant menu. I always gravitate towards a burger. You're getting that nice, crisp, good burger. You're getting a soft bun. You're getting something that's kind of like helping suck, suck up some of the booze if you're drinking at a bar somewhere. But it really, it's, it's such a classic. Yet we've all had a bad burger. Local burger expert Richard Chuddy included. I feel like the meat to bun ratio is huge and people end up with like a patty that's like way bigger than the bun or worse, a patty that's way smaller than the buns. I think there's a place for thin griddled and smashed. I love that. I also love a thick, juicy pub style burger too. So we threw it out there to Chronicle viewers in an informal online survey. We asked you where your favorite burger was from. Your top choice, home. I thought I'd give it a try. But while it cooks, we'll check out your other top picks. The name says it all at your top spot. In the Fixed Burger Bar, we set out to open up a, an exceptional, memorable, fun experience that's completely uh, revolved around the burger. The first fixed location opened in Worcester in 2014. Now diners can choose from additional locations in Marlboro and Lemonster. Owner Michael Cavino says nothing beats the view from the patio in Marlboro. We overlook Lake Williams, got a great patio, great 24 stool bar, and then about 180 seat dining room total here. No matter whether it's between two buns or atop a salad, the fix is all about a thick, juicy patty. It's certified Angus beef, and it's amazing when it comes to obviously the flavor, but the texture of that burger too. It's a seven ounce patty. We cook it on a flat top and it's juicy and delicious and that's what really makes the difference of why the burger stands out is that foundation. These days, subscription services are everywhere. TV, meal prep, razors, even a service that will home deliver supplies to survive the apocalypse. For those that are burger obsessed, The Fix is here to help. So tokens of taste, and it's like a burger membership, but basically one a month, two a month, or weekly. So many different burgers you can build on your own, so many different try. Sky high burgers fly out of the kitchen. The crunchy burger with fried prosciutto, Parmesan chips, potato chips, and garlic mayo is a fan favorite. But with a sweet chili ranch sauce, bacon, smoked gouda, and a fried egg, Cavino says the phenomenal burger is a top seller. When you bite into it, that egg yolk just kind of runs all through, all through this bacon there. While the Fix Burger Bar ranked high in our admittedly unscientific poll, the ever popular tasty burger chain, Lewis's Restaurant and Grill in Norwood, and the local with five locations in Greater Boston also merited shout outs. But this Hudson Diner rose above the rest. At Victor's 50s Diner, the patty melt reigned supreme. Dark rye bread, Swiss cheese, caramelized onions, and of course, the perfect burger make Vio Saki's, better known as Victor, a pro at the patty melt. I like to deal with the customers. I like to know everybody. I like people to see what I'm doing. Saki's was surprised to learn that viewers chose his restaurant as one of their top burger spots. I was like, really? You know, we try our best and uh, I guess people like the way we do the burgers. Saki's is quite the collector. His array of 50s memorabilia is found in every nook and cranny at the diner. And it's only a third of his collection. The diner has eight Hollywood burgers on the menu, each named in honor of various new Hollywood stars. Zaki's favors the Elvis burger and the Graceland burger. Hold the peanut butter and bananas. They're all delicious. When you saute peppers, mushrooms, onions, and you cover it up with provolone cheese, or cheddar cheese, and you look at it, I mean, the key is to cook the burger right. Don't make it well done. You have to be nice and juicy. If you cook it well done, you ruin the whole thing. And with Saki's behind the grill, he won't let an overcooked burger out on his watch. They all look delicious, but sometimes home is just hard to beat. 
<laughs> and Victor's uh, 50s Diner opened in 2007. Victor, though, worked in the restaurant industry for decades, uh, and they do serve breakfast, which I love all day. All day. All right, and back to the fixed burger. They do offer hamburger alternatives. How about chicken, tuna, salmon, turkey, and even lamb? Michael Cavino says he does recognize that not everyone eats red meat these days. All right.